Hi everyone, it's been a while, but today I've got a tablet unboxing and review video for you. I was asked to review, to review the Vake A15 graphics tablet. Um, so I've used a couple of tablet brands before. My first ever drawing tablet I got when I was around 12 or 13. It was a, um, what was it? It was a Wacom Bamboo Capture, which I don't think you can get anymore from Wacom. I think you can find used ones on Amazon that are like $90. So the one I use now, it's a Huion H610 Pro. I will send the description of all my videos. And I've also used tablets from smaller companies like Monoprice. The Vake A15 is sold for around $55 on Amazon, which is amazingly cheap. Uh, the tablet I use now has the same size work area, which is around 10, 10 by 6 inches. Um, I think the tablet I use now costs closer to $80 at the time I purchased it. Right on top is a nifty little artist glove. I'm very glad more tablet brands are including gloves with their graphics tablets and not just their monitors. It helps keep your tablet from getting all nasty with fingerprints and hand sweat. Then we have the tablet itself, which we will get into in a little bit. Under that is an information card showing you where to get the driver for this tablet. I'm, I'm really okay with there being no disk since websites usually have a most up-to-date driver and my computer doesn't have a disk drive anyways. Quick check for any, anything underneath this cardboard piece, nothing's there. So we'll get into what we can see. We have the USB, USB cable and the pen. The pen is in this little baggy wrapper. I'm not sure I can call it a case. It doesn't really seal so there's nothing preventing it from slipping out even though I did struggle to get the pen out with one hand. The pen is really nice. It feels good in my hand and it's not unwieldy or heavy. It doesn't require charging or batteries, which I'm super impressed with. I know my Huion's pen battery lasts a long time, but it always seems to need charging right when I need, really want to draw. So this pen is also has also two programmable buttons on the side. The gray rubber bit at the end isn't an eraser though, it's just part of the design. The little yellow label right there says there should be two more things in the box, so I had to go looking for them a little bit. Well, the pen and the cable had their own little slots in the cardboard, the nibs and the quick start guide were just loose underneath, but they were easy enough to retrieve. There were so many extra nibs. I've never had to replace nibs before because I don't bear very hard down on the pen and the ta on my pen, pen, pens and tablets. But it's still very nice to see that so many extras are provided so you don't have to pay for more. The tablet itself is very sleek and professional looking even though my camera isn't focusing on it very well. It's thin and it's lightweight, so I imagine it'd be easy. I imagine it would be easy to slip inside a bag alongside your laptop and travel with. It's got four rubber feet at the back to prevent your tablet from slip sliding around your desk, and it's got twelve programmable buttons, which is very nice. The tablet I have now has eight clicky buttons and twelve soft 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 buttons, which means you just tap them with your pen. So I greatly prefer buttons that click, and these ones felt very responsive. The red circle is just a design choice, it's not a dial for zooming or anything, but it does feel very nice to touch. There were three options on Amazon last I checked. Blue, red, and gray. It's nice, it's nice to be seeing more co colorful tablets, because picking your favorite color can make your tools feel a little bit more personal to you. Here's everything that comes in the box all laid out in front. The tablet, the pen, the cable, the manual, the instruction card and nibs, and the glove. So downloading the driver was super easy. You just head to their website, vake.com, V-E-I-K-K.com. The driver is universal for all their tablets, and hey, if you get confused, you can find a PDF for, for the manual of your tablet here, too. Downloading the driver was quick and easy. It gives you a shortcut to the tablet settings window, where you can program your buttons and tweak your pressure sensitivity. This tablet has over 8,000 levels of sensitivity, which appears to be becoming the standard for graphics tablets, though there are still some small or cheap tablets that use around 4,000 or even 2,000. These menus for button programming were easy to use once I figured out how to delete things without the backspace key, and also how to enter the control button. The interface is very simple. I opened up Psy to do some quick tests. I'm happy to see that the drivers work with Psy 2, since Psy 1 was a notoriously picky program with drivers. I also opened up Clip Studio Paint and tested there. Everything worked fine. So onto the speed paint and the pros and cons. The speed paint was very just a very quick thing to get, get acquainted with the tablet. Uh, I will say that, that this is a character that's going to be one of the main protagonists of a webcomic that I'm creating. But on back to the tablet. Pros and cons. Cons. So the, while I was drawing this quick little portrait, I noticed the pen squeaked a lot when I first started drawing. After breaking the nib in a little, the problem mostly went away, but it was really jarring to hear at first. 
the glove was nice to have, but it's a little bit tight on me, and that's just because I have big hands. That's not, I don't see that being a, a problem in the future. I can just choose not to use the glove, it's just preference. The pen also doesn't have a rubber grip, and with the way I tend to hold my pens, um, it spins around in my hand, so the base on my thumb ends up accidentally clicking the buttons when I don't want, when I don't want to. Uh, but that's mostly because I'm used to holding my, my Huion pen a certain way. If I used this tablet more, I'm sure I would get used to it and the problem would go away with time. Okay, on to the pros. The pros, uh, this tablet is super, super cheap. The setup was super easy. Uh, there's a good, it's got a good, it's got a very good work area. Um, it has lots of buttons that are easy to program. The pen doesn't have a ba battery. So, at the end of the day, yes, I definitely would recommend this. Especially for folks looking to just start digital art or parents who have artsy kids. It's not going to break the bank and it's just a really nice tablet to have. So thank you for watching this video. Um, in the description I'll provide links to to where you can buy this tablet and I'll I also provide a link to Vake's website uh, so you can look at all their other products. They also, they also sell pen monitors which I've been looking at, at a little bit. Um, also in the description you'll find links to my social media and at the end of this video, uh, and at the end of the video, you'll see links to a bunch of other videos of mine you can watch. Thanks for watching.